for bike people. Uh, still preparing my bike, getting ready for the Arizona Trail uh, 300 mile mountain bike ride. Um, one thing I had issues with last year was not enough water in some sections. So I wanted to increase my capacity to hold water and take less weight off my back. So I changed my three gallon, or not three gallon, three liter um, reservoir from my back and went down to a two liter reservoir at that point. Um, but in order to increase my overall capacity, I have added some racks to my forks. So I got one over here. I got one over here and put one hanging underneath. Um, so to mount this one up, I used one of the um, screws that is used to, for your routing of your cables. Um, it has the same thread pattern as a uh, water, water cage mount uh, from up top. So I went ahead and used a longer one so that way I could put it in there. And then I also um, zip tied it a couple of times. Got that one in there. It's holding on pretty good. Um, so happy with that. And then some of the other recommendations have been to tape on these, but, or probably avoid your manufacturer's warranty, but I use pipe clamps, um, or uh, hose clamps. Um, so what I did is put a little Gorilla Tape on there, put the clamp, ran it through um, on the top and bottom. So these are really, really good. Um, the bottles do rattle a little bit, so what I'm planning on doing is using a little bit of Gorilla Tape on the bottles um, for their contact points there, um, so that way it quiets the ride. And then also, love me some zip ties. Um, so I might actually do a little bit, a kind of added security of putting a zip tie on there as well. Um, they tend to hold, what is this, 50 pound Tinson rating, so it'll hold about, yeah, 50 pounds. So, figure to hold up a bottle cage mount that holds 2.2 pounds of uh, water in it. But, yeah, I want to give you an update of just what's going on, how to mount up your cages. Um, I put the Gorilla Tape on there so it would cushion a little bit so when I put those clamps on it could bite into the actual Gorilla Tape instead of biting into the fork because I didn't want to compress or uh, do anything to hurt my fork or its ability to do its job. So once again, thanks for watching, thanks for riding. I will keep you updated as other things come along. Hopefully I will get my frame bag um, that goes in here, out here pretty soon. Um, got me a Lone Peak uh, bag holder, so I'm still working on doing that there. And also got me a Lone Peak, I guess it's not a, oh yeah, it's on the bike right now. So. So, still figuring out how to mount that up, make it nice and strong. Once again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Talk to you soon.